Hey guys, Ron from Red Moto, and today we're going to be working on this 2020 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD side view mirror removal and installation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And if you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. And if you guys need this mirror for your vehicle, the link is down below and up above. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to take off this part, so we gotta go ahead and take off the door panel. So take off the door panel. So you guys go in here. Let me see if I can show you guys. So you guys go in there. There's like gonna be like a little slit right there. You're gonna go ahead and take off this cover. So you just use something flat and go ahead and take off that cover. Just like that. There's the cover. The door handle right here. The door handle and then actually armrest and then this cover right here needs to come off. So you guys can just go ahead and pry it back like that. If you guys need to wedge something like flat in there because it's, you can't get your finger in there, that's okay also. Basically go ahead and pull this back. And if you get stuck like that, go ahead and get a flat object, and there's like prongs here, go ahead and uh, take it off that. And you guys can see right here, don't yank it because you're going to break that, so pull it to the side. And all it is is like these things right here these clips actually this prongs right here and then there's clips there okay so I went ahead and took off the bolts right here so if you guys can see where that uh, gold part is I went ahead and took that off because it's a lot easier for you guys to see but it's gonna be a bolt like this gonna be two of them one right here and one right there and it's gonna be a seven millimeter you guys have to take off and then over here it's gonna be the same exact thing. It's gonna be a seven millimeter. It's gonna be right there. Let me see. Go. We go ahead and take that off. Just like that. Now, if you guys can see down there, one right there and then one right here. It's You guys can see, there's going to be two of them. This uh, door panel, if you guys go to the side right here, you're going to have a little bit of room, put your hand in there, you got to pull it. So, use a little bit of force to pull it. Pull up and then pull down. So, you guys can see this thing right here is attached to that. Okay, let me just take a look at this one right here. Ah, okay, so you don't want to take this off. I think that's just for the uh, triangle shape right here. If you guys want to replace that, but right here. Okay, so if you guys go right here, there's going to be one, two, three, four bolts you have to take off. Let's see what size that is. I'm going to say it's a 12, but just check it out. Oh, nope. 13 maybe. Let's see what a 13 looks like. Yep, that's a 13. All right, so All 
All right, guys. So with a 13, with a 13, go ahead and take it off. Don't unplug it, okay? Because if you guys unplug it, for some reason, um, some reason the uh, bolts loosen up too fast, then the mirror falls down and you know cracks or messes some other stuff. But take off the bolts like that. coming loose uh, because you guys have that because you guys have it still plugged in it doesn't fall down and it looks like this four of them so now if you guys can hold it with one hand or if you guys have a friend go ahead and let him him or her hold it and then you're gonna unplug it let's see how you unplug this there's a red thing yep and then you Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to unplug this. There's this red thing right here. You got to pull this back. So once it's pulled back, you see how it's kind of off a little bit from there. So pull this one back. Pull it back. And that's a safety mechanism. And then see this tab right here? You press down on that tab. Press down on this tab right there. It's a very small area to put your fingers. That's why that's why I use a flathead. Press that down, and then you can go ahead and take this off. Remember, I put that bolt in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold it. And then take off this remaining bolt. There you go. And for me, oh, I dropped my bolt right here. I'm gonna go grab it. All right. So now to put it back in, it's fairly easy. Same thing. See those uh, lugs, lug nuts right there, or I don't know what you call those, or whatever they're called. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put those through the holes first and then get a uh, bolt handy. So I like to get a bolt handy, just like that. Somewhere I can grab it really easily. I'm gonna insert this into that hole and then I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and then I'm gonna try to insert that. So hold it, insert it, push that red thing back in place, see, now get that bolt, secure it, and then tighten it. So go ahead and do that with the other ones, so push up on this. So as you guys can see, when I put one bolt right here in, then I put this the across from me, I put the other bolt so I can line it up correctly. And you don't want to put too much uh, torque on there, just like whenever one has a, a um, I guess it stops or it makes a noise whenever it's torque is getting close to re being really tight. So you don't want to be too tight on it. And then go ahead and do this one. There you go. Because if you went too tight on it, you're gonna break that uh, that lug that lug or like that uh, rod. See, that's it. That's all you guys really need. You don't need too much pressure on there. And see. So now go ahead and 
try to mess around with this ivy mirror and it's stiff on there and yeah all you gotta do now is put the uh, put the door panel back on and also this cover right here go ahead and go put that cover right there All right guys, so that's how you remove and install a 2020 Chevrolet Silverado HD 2500. This is like a tow mirror, but it should work on like the regular mirrors also. But as you see, it's very simple. So go, go ahead, if you guys have any, so if you guys have any questions, comment down below and I'll answer all those questions for you. Thank you guys for watching.